Hi, I'm Brady from Uplink Robotics, and this is going to be a quick intro into the Martin V1.2 crawler. I'm going to walk you through unboxing it, getting it set up, and using it for your first time. So, the Martin V1.2, the changes that come with this version of the crawler, you have a new camera that is upgrades to a 12 megapixel picture, and a couple of other design improvements that make it a little bit more reliable. All right, let's unbox it. So in this unboxing, I'm going to show you if you had bought it with the optional Pelican case. Otherwise, you would be unboxing it out of a cardboard box. And we recommend even if you get the cardboard box, you keep it so that if anything ever happens to your crawler, you need to ship it back to us. You can put it right back in that box. We can send you a prepaid label and you can get it back to us super easy. So first thing you'll see when you open it up should be your information. So there will be a warranty sheet. Um, terms and conditions, all that kind of stuff inside here, plus a thank you. Next, there will be a bag with all of the extras, so all of the extra tools that you might need, or if you ever accidentally lose a screw, there's some extras in here, plus some things that come with like the camera and stuff like that that's in the crawler in case you ever took it out and wanted to use it as an action camera. Here's the quick guide, it should be in this bag. Got the transmitter over here. Should be wrapped in bubble wrap to protect it. You've got all of the chargers. So this is the video monitor charger. This is the charger for the transmitter batteries. You've got the crawler battery charger. And then some cables that come with the video monitor for uh, you can use this to output to a standard TV from the video monitor. Next will be the actual crawler itself. It'll be over in this area. It should fit pretty tight to make sure it's not sliding around in there. See how it looks. This sticker should be here. Make sure you read the quick guide before you remove this sticker so that you understand how to operate it correctly. And then underneath that should be your video monitor. So before you ever turn on your crawler, you need to make sure that you charge everything correctly. So this will be the battery that goes in the crawler. It will be in the crawler when you open it up. And this is the charger. So you plug this end into the wall and then there's two ports right here. One's a little bit bigger than the other. That's the one you're gonna use. You use this connector on the battery and plug that in. And there'll be two lights right here. One will start blue and this one should turn red. And when it is fully charged, it will turn back to blue. The video monitor has a plug right here. This is the charger, same thing. Plug this into the wall and then you plug this into the video monitor right here. There will be a light on the video monitor right here that will be red and it will turn green once it is fully charged. The transmitter has batteries in the back. A little tray right here that you pop open. These are lithium ion 18650 batteries and we ship them with a battery charger. So whenever the battery dies on this, you'll just have to pop these out, put them in here, plug this into a USB brick and be careful with the orientation. This isn't a double A battery. If you plug this in backwards, it can be really bad. These chargers have reverse polarity protection, but just best to be safe. Make sure you plug them in correctly and then wait for these lights to turn green. All right, at this point, you should have fully charged everything and you should be ready to turn on your crawler for the first time. So step one, you need to turn on the video, the transmitter. So you'll hold this button right here. You'll see four bars go across there. You'll feel it vibrate. Then you can release. It'll walk through this setup scenario and you will most likely have to raise all of these switches and then you can press OK. And it should look like this when you're done. Next, you should turn on the video monitor. To turn that on, you hold the power button right here. Again, you'll have to hold it for quite a while until you see the light turn on or the screen turn on, then you can release. Now you should mount the video monitor to the transmitter with the slide right here, should slide right on to the crawler. 
for the transmitter. Now you're ready to turn on the crawler. So unscrew the thumb screw lid, pop it off, take your battery, slide it in this end first, should it fit in like that. And then you need to take this plug and plug it into the matching plug inside the crawler. You'll notice there's a shape to it. It should only go in one way. Make sure you do not force it the other way. Plug that in, tuck the tires away, tuck the wires away, sorry. Push that down, slot it in, make sure it's lined up and hold down pressure on it as you screw it in all the way. You shouldn't need to over tighten this, just go until it, you can feel it stop and then you're good to go. Now you're ready to turn this thing on. So there's a power switch on the back right here. You should be able to turn it on. It should beep, move a little bit, and the servo should start working. Note, if you did not turn this on first, the servo will not work. You will not be able to point the camera up and down. So you have to turn on and fully initialize the transmitter before the crawler. You can see right here, this is the battery level of the crawler. So this one is at half battery level. They should be shipped about half battery level. That is the safe storage for lithium batteries. And then you can use this remote right here. This will point the camera up and down. This will drive the crawler. This switch right here should turn on your lights. And then this switch right here will be used for triggering video and pictures. All right, so you've started your crawler. Everything's turned on and everything is working and you're ready to start taking some pictures or some videos. So everything for the video is done with this switch right here. It is a momentary switch. So when you pull it up, it'll spring back down and you ever, only ever need to pop it up and let it go back down. Make sure you're being really deliberate and never spam this button. If you go you know, too many times, the camera can get confused. It's good to flip it up, let it go back down, wait a while and wait for things to happen. So if this light is blinking on this camera, that means you don't have an SD card. So you need to make sure that this light is solid. Once that is solid, you're ready to record video or take pictures. So if you flip it up and down once, it'll start recording. You'll know that it is recording because you'll see this light is flashing and also in the video monitor, there will be a little red light that is blinking right up here, right next to the battery indicator for the video monitor. That's how you know that this is currently recording video. In order to stop recording, you're just gonna flip that switch one more time, just like that. It'll be twice, the light is now solid again and the recording indicator went away. So now it has saved that video and it is no longer recording. If you wanna take a picture, what you need to do is flip this switch up, down, up, down, twice, fairly quickly, but not too quickly. If you do it just bam, bam, it might get confused. So if you go just like that, it'll beep twice and it took a picture. Note the light is not blinking because it's not recording, it took a picture and the screen should flash black. That's how you know it has taken a picture. Just like that. So that is how you take pictures and record video with the Martin B 1.2. All right, so you've used your crawler and you've taken some videos and some photos and you're ready to pull them off. So first thing you need to do is you need to turn off your crawler and then right here underneath, there's this thing right here, this plug that plugs into the camera. Right under that is the SD card. You can just barely see the back of it sticking out. So you just need to push on that. It'll pop out a little bit and then grab it and pull it out. And then you'll use this SD card. We come, uh, we ship with a adapter to adapt this up to a full size SD card and then use any kind of adapter, plug it into your phone, plug it into your computer, and pull the photos off of that. This is the recommended method. It's faster and it's easier than, it's easier than using the Wi-Fi on the camera. To put it back in, you just need to line the SD card back up. And pop it back in, make sure it clicks. When you turn on the camera, the crawler, this light should be solid. Notice if I pop this SD card out, that light will be blinking. So now there is no SD card and you need to make sure it's in all the way and the light will be solid.
So another way that you can download photos and videos off of your Martin crawler is through the Runcam app with the Wi-Fi on the camera. So all you need to do to do this is press the second button forward on the camera, the one that doesn't have a light on it. Press it once, it'll start flashing blue. That means it has created the Wi-Fi network and you can see the name and password right here. So the name should be Runcam6 underscore Martin with your serial number. So go ahead, launch the Wi-Fi on your phone or your smart device, try and find that network, connect to it. The password is 12345678900. So go ahead and connect to that. If you're having any connection issues where it keeps dropping that connection, it can help to turn the cellular off on your phone. Otherwise the phone thinks, oh, there's no internet on this camera, so I'm gonna disconnect. So that can help if you're having connection issues. Go ahead, launch the RunCam app. Hit, you need to select the RunCam 6. Connect your camera. You should get a live feed of what the camera sees. Click down here on the album. Click album, select, and then you can select all of the photos that you wanna download. So I want to download this one and this one, and then you'll press this download arrow down here on the bottom and hit download two files, and then it will download those straight into your phone.